Hello, welcome to the world of computer aided design with SOLIDWORKS. In today's session, we are going to learn how to create polygons in SOLIDWORKS. We are already in the sketching environment and here we have these sketching tools. So let us click on this polygon tool to activate it. As I clicked on this polygon tool, you can see here we have this polygon property manager. In the parameters area, we have this number of sites edit box and the current value for this edit box is set to 6 which means if we create a polygon with these default parameters the polygon created will be a hexagon there are two radio buttons available below this number of sites edit box first one is inscribed circle second one is circumscribed circle and currently the inscribed circle radio button is selected here so if i go with these default values set here let us see what kind of polygon is created. So first of all, I have to specify the center point for the polygon. So I'll click here at the origin for the center point. Next thing, I have to specify the radius of the circle which will be inscribed inside this polygon. The radius of the circle will determine the size of this polygon. So I'll click here for the radius of that inscribed circle. You can see we have created a polygon and the circle is inscribed inside this polygon. This is because we have chosen the inscribed circle radio button here. Current radius value for this inscribed circle is 111.18. I'll change it to 120. Type 120 and press enter. You can see the size of the polygon has increased. Now let us choose this circumscribed circle radio button. Also, let us change the number of sides to 8 so that we can create an octagon. Now I'll click here for the center point of the circumscribed circle and I'll click here for the radius of that circumscribed circle. Now you can see the circle is outside this polygon which means it is a circumscribed circle. Current radius value for the circumscribed circle is 78.01. I'll change it to say 100. Press enter. You can see the size of the polygon has changed. Also, the number of sites is now 8. After creating both the polygons, I'll click on this close dialog button to get out of the polygon tool. Thank you for watching this video.